Welcome to the e-advising for the BSc programs in the Department of Medical Bioscience. The core competencies of the MBS department include human anatomy, medical and comparative physiology, as well as medical microbiology. At UWC, the subjects are called modules. Some of them are compulsory, others are optional and those are the ones we call electives. Now, in order to progress to the next level, you need to have passed most modules at a lower level. And in order to register for modules at higher levels, you need to have passed some modules, which are often called prerequisite modules at a lower level. At level one, of the MBS program. There are three groups of modules and students are required to register for only four modules from these three groups per semester. So in the first semester, the students will register for Life Science 104, Chemistry 116, as well as the Departmental Module MBS 1. And then, depending on whether the student wants to start with computer fundamentals in the first semester or they want to start with uh, English, then the student will choose to register either this computing fundamentals 114 or will choose uh, English for Educational Development 117. And that will complete their four modules. So for second semester, the student will then do statistics one to five, chemistry one to six, and then the departmental module MBS one to one. And if they selected the computer at the first semester, then they have no business with computer anymore. They will then have to do the English module in the second semester. However, if they started with the English module in the first semester, which will be uh, the uh, EED 117, then they will have to leave that and register rather for the computing fundamentals course 124, which is a second semester module. Because both the course 114 and 124 are of the same content. They are just offered in two different semesters to accommodate the arrangement as described here. The same for EED 117 and 127. They are the same content, but just spread across or moved between semesters to accommodate these type of arrangements as described here. So at the end of the year, every student will have eight modules in their transcripts. At level two, MBS students are required to register for three modules per semester. Now, there are two modules which are kind of compulsory in this first semester, which is MBS 231, and then they'll do the medical microbiology 251. Then they are expected to select from either Biotechnology 211, which is an elective from the Department of uh, Biotechnology, or another elective from that department, which is Biotech uh, BTN 215. So they have to select only one of these two. And most times students want to know which is a better module or which is a preferred module. And that will be shown in the next slide. The content and all that will be displayed there, and that will guide the students to make decisions. And then for second semester, the student will register for um, MBS core module 232, as well as a medical microbiology module 252. And then they will have to select from either Biotech 223 or Biotech BTN 213 because they need to complete the three modules okay, per semester. So again, how 
or what factors determine whether they are going to select this one or this one uh, will be the preference of the student based on the, the content of the module, as we shall see in the next slide. At level two, all our electives are from the Department of uh, Biotechnology. And our students have to choose in the first semester from either BTN 211 or BTN 215. Okay, BTN 211 is uh, Introduction to Microorganisms. Okay, and covers um, a lot about microorganisms, uh, starting from history, um, the techniques, um, and, and all that. Okay, so everything you need to know about microorganisms is covered there at the introductory level. And uh, so most students who are really interested in microbiology go for that module. And then for uh, quantitative methods, usually students who are very good in calculations prefer this module because it's all about biochemical calculations. And in the second semester, there are two modules and the students are required to select only one. PTN 213, which is food biotechnology. Okay, and this module again is microbiology related. All right, so those who really love microbiology may want to choose this module. While the BTN 223 is biochemistry, okay, and um, it uh, introduces students to uh, such concepts as amino acids, proteins, and all that which are very much of a typical biochemistry module. And so students who love biochemistry usually prefer this to the microbiology module. Now at level three, we have uh, four modules, four modules, two per semester, and there are no electives, okay? As you can see, now you are fully home, you are fully in your department, and there will be no electives. So first semester, two modules, 331, three, 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 and then you take a microbiology module, which is um, MIC 353, okay? Now I want you to note that these modules have um, more weighting, okay, the credit load is higher because there are 30 units there instead of 15 or 20 as you, you see in the previous uh, levels. Okay, and so um, first semester will be that, and second semester, the students will then register for 332, MBA 32, and then um, medical microbiology 354. And these, these four modules are regarded as the exit modules, which need to be passed at a certain percentage before the students would earn their qualification. The BSc program in medical biosciences is a formative qualification. Students who graduate from this program do not automatically become medical scientists. However, they acquire adequate knowledge that prepares them for diverse career opportunities both in the biomedical sciences as well as other disciplines. In this program, students will learn um, a lot of anatomy, physiology, medical microbiology, and immunology. These are all taught in such a way that would enable the student to have a holistic understanding of how the body functions and how it responds to its environment, including the disease causing microorganisms. So the MBS degree is a formative one. It provides um, the student with the opportunity to venture into different careers, okay? And also to embark on the further studies um, which would then prepare them for uh, careers. Now, our students uh, have gone on to work in the food industry. So most of our graduates are in the food industry. Some are in the laboratories, 
different laboratories in different sectors. Some are working as um, pharmaceutical or uh, medical reps for different companies where they, they market medical equipment or other medical products. And we also have a number of them who have gone on to work in the forensics. Uh, some have you know, gone in to do uh, uh, study law and then they become the preferred candidates to work in uh, medical malpractice law uh, and also intellectual property law, okay? And then we also know that some of our students have gone on to do journalism by, you know, taking on one or two diplomas or certificates and then others, you know, do a postgraduate diploma in uh, higher education or in, uh, in education and then they go on to be high school educators. We know of a few students who also went on to do masters in public health, specializing in health education and promotion, and they are now health education officers uh, or even public health officers in different uh, 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 parts of the country. And we also know that some of them prefer to continue as researchers and lecturers. So they, they, we have a couple of our students who are lecturers in our department as well as in other departments uh, in universities all around the country. Okay, so the opportunities are limitless. Okay, you, you can just imagine that as soon as you get your degree, you can do anything else that you want to do. Whatever you had dreamt to do in your life, you can do it. So the degree is like um, just a foundation and then you add onto it and then you achieve your goal here. Okay, so you just add a little bit, it could be in the form of qualifications as listed here or a few other work experiences and then you build up to your ultimate career here and so, what I'll say is, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And so for the new students, we look forward to having you in our department at level one. And for returning students, we hope to see you again. Thank you very much.